Hello everyone. So uh, we're going to try something new today. And this is FTL, faster than light, and this has been requested. So by a few people actually. So this is why we're playing it. So uh, this is pretty much what the game is all about. The data you are carrying is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You will need supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving. You know what? No, that's not going to work. <laughs> oh. But okay. So pretty much what we're doing. We'll just skip past that. We jump through this massive sector here. We need to get to the exit, pretty much. And we want to try and visit as many of these places as possible to get new equipment and new stuff, scrap to buy new stuff with, I guess. And then to eventually fight the, the rebel boss. But while we're doing this, if we don't move fast enough, uh, the rebel fleet will start appearing on the map and they're going to chase us and you don't want to get caught up. And you'll see as you come along. So uh, this is our ship here, the, uh, the Kestrel. And it's Captain, Captain Mittens here, and he's going to be piloting. This guy, Lombard, he's going to be throwing in shields. So this, if you have, these are the, okay. This ship has different rooms in it that allow you to do different stuff. So instance, these are the engines here. So if these get destroyed, our ship can't move, and so we, we lose our evade, which you can see right there. This is the oxygen, so... If we lose this, that means the ship will start to lose oxygen and the crew will suffocate. Not a good thing. This is weapons, so without those we can't fire our two weapons here. Might as well put some power to those right now. This is shields, obviously, for our shields right there. This allows our, this is the med bay, so we can heal our guys. As you can see they've got health. This is for cameras, so we can see what the inside of the ship looks like. Right now you can't because we're inside a nebula, but you'll see later on. And this is the door control because we can click and open doors. And yeah, this is the, the pilot's room. So this allows us to jump and also sorts out our evade. You may notice down here we have, this is power allocation. So we set amount of power, at least at the start, and we can allocate it. So each one of those green bars is one power unit we've allocated. So we've got three in the weapons here, one in med bay, one auction. If we get rid of this, then oxygen comes off and oxygen starts to go down. So we we'll put that back on, so we get our oxygen back up. Here is our hull. So this is how much health we have. And there's the shields, obviously. Now this, this is our scrap. This is essentially our, our money, which we can use to buy stuff with. And uh, here we have our fuel. So each jump, which you'll see now, that's a fuel. It uses up one fuel. So we don't ever want to run out of that. And this is the amount of missiles we have, which are here. And those are drone parts. We'll get to those later. So. Uh, you jump to a new place and you get like a little scenario, usually, or an event. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. A heavily damaged federal ship, a uh, Federation ship, is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before we have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. So, should we attempt to follow them and help them, or we can pretty much ignore this event and just sit back? I think we'll spice things up and we'll try and follow them. So while searching fruitlessly through the nebula, you stumble upon the rebel ship, which the Federation loyalists were likely hiding from. You prepare to fight. So uh, we'll quickly pause it here. Now, this this is where the bulk of the game is in this combat here. So as you can see, the, sh the enemy ship, they have the same subsystems. And apart from this one, we haven't got this. This is a drone control unit, you can see that there. And he'll just go around shooting us. So uh, this is how combat works. We click a weapon, and we click where we want to attack the enemy with. So we want to take out the weapons first, usually. So then they can't shoot us. And then we just unpause it. And we wait for the weapons to slowly charge. Come on. While that dro a drone blasts on that shield. Ooh. Okay, brilliant. So the weapons are out. Let's just get rid of this drone, because this drone's just been pesky. Now the missile, it completely ignores shields. It just flies right through them. Okay, so you can see... They know they're losing, so they're going to try and escape now. But they, they'll be dead way before that. And we just save, you know, our missiles. Because we've got six left, and we just blast them. You see the door open, one of the crew members went to go fix something. And there we go. And there's our first ship destroyed. And they leave behind some fuels, drone parts, and some scrap. Which is good. Right then. So, uh, let's see. If we go up here and kind of do that. I think, and that will maximise the amount we can get. So, oh! Right, astro foils are interesting, as you will see. So let's fight. 
Oh, this guy also has a drone. So let's get with that. Let's do that this time. Let's change it up. Now you see there's rocks flying here. And from the asteroid field. And those do extra damage to us. Right. Something to point out here. You can see our hole's been damaged. And you may notice this is red. You see right there? Destroyed. What happens is they, they targeted the our pilot, our bridge. And they've destroyed it pretty much. And so this crew member is uh, working frenetically to try and fix it. Oh, damn those lasers. Damn them. We are not doing too well there. So let's quickly shield quickly get the stuff repaired. Now you, you're good to repair. Make sure you always have door control. Ah, awesome. So got rid of them quickly. So come on guys. You can't stay along. So door control is always good because of the fire in these rooms you can vent the oxygen and the fire will uh, will cease. It will pretty much go out. But then you also lose a lot of oxygen, so it's it's a tough dilemma. And this is what this all this game is all about, these tough dilemmas. So let's see what we got here. Quarantine level five. Nearby planet shows a sign of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automatic automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect under FHA Act 22, Article 11.2. Warning, quarantine level 5, blah 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 blah. And that's all. <laughs> that was the only event. Nothing interesting happened there, apart from that. Now, you see, we got stores. So we ignore the first one. And we are going to ignore it right now. See, these are all the, you can see the lines. These are the, all the places we can actually visit right now. So we just go there. And stores, you can spend scrap to buy new stuff. Like weapons, repair your ship. Nothing there. So, you know, we'll get a store and repair our ship, actually. That's a good idea. So let's see. Hmm. Cool damage and shots has improved. Interesting. Well, we'll fix all of our damage first. And, uh, to be honest, we don't really need anything else right now. I wish you could sell those, because I don't, I don't want those. And we want to keep the weapons, obviously. But maybe we could get extra fuel. It's nice to have a bit of extra fuel. Ideally, what we want to do is we want to save up this so we can start upgrading our ship here. So it's going to cost us uh, 20 scrap for an extra bar of energy, which is very useful. We should actually we'll get that. And then we've got two powers to enter. Double power. Which is awesome. And you want to save up and just get these, generally. They're much better than weapons, usually. Stuff like extra shields and health, very useful. But then also good weapons, you'll need those later on, definitely. So, let's see, what have we got next? Ooh, another enemy here. Energy Bomber. You recognise his ship as a well-known tra slave trader. He hails you and offers you labourers for cheap. So we, could buy we can't buy a slave because obviously we haven't got scrap. And we could attack the slaver scum, or we can ignore. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I'm not fond of slaver scumbags. So I think it's time we dispose of this scumbag. So let's destroy those weapons, that's always my first priority. Ooh, now you may notice this. This will soak up, it's like a shield, but it's only temporary. So it lasts once, I think, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've played. You see? So I don't think that recharges. So this ship is pretty well kitted out compared to us, which isn't good. Damn! Okay, we're through that. So now our lasers can finally start blasting onto their shields. Come on, guys! Yes! Okay, good. Their weapons are out, and they're going to try and escape. But little do they know, they won't make it. Now we should finish them off. Okay, no. If we miss, we obviously won't finish them off. I won't waste a missile on that. Just laser that again. Come on, laser. Charge up. No! No! Oh! I should have fired. God damn it. So you can see they escaped there, which isn't good. We didn't get any loot or anything like that. Ah, <sighs> damn. So we wasted missiles, really. And we've only got two left. Right. So, these guys... They want us to pay a toll. Obviously, we haven't got enough of that, and we're not paying any toll. This is Captain Mittens. He pays no toll for no one. He pays no toll to no one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, let's kill this Mantis scumbag. 
So obviously, lasers first, same. There we go. Ooh, no, because you always get better stuff if you kill them, usually. Unless they offer stuff like weapons, which is very, very rare. Come on, laser. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, one more shot. I'm surprised he isn't charging up his warp drive. Oh, FDL drive. Come on. We just need to save these missiles here. Pew, pew, pew. And there we go. See, we've got a lot more stuff there. Sally, no missiles. We desperately need those. So we do this. Do that pattern there. Now, one thing... Oh, I'll show you off in a second. You immediately notice a rebel ship chasing what appears to be a civilian transport. However, you're detecting chatter on the encrypted Federation channel. They're carrying Federation loyalists. Let's go and aid them. Because, obviously, the Federation's our friends. So let's kill them. Let's kill these rebels, scumbags. Yes, everyone is a scumbag, by the way. Okay, come on, let's just charge faster. Oh! Right, that's not good. So oxygen is out. Oops. Go, go there. And it looks like... Oh, we're out of missiles. Not good. Well, their weapons are not down. Never mind, they fixed it. You can see our oxygen is decreasing and the, everything's slowly going slightly red. It means there's less oxygen in the rooms. Oh, engine damage from on that. Get that repaired quickly. Hopefully they drop us missiles because we're going to need them. Definitely for later on. Oh, I didn't finish that. There we go. So, let's see. Did we get any rewards from the... Oh! Oh! That, we'll look at that in a second. This ship is transporting Federation civilians on the map. I don't have much to offer, but I can afford you a fe hidden Federation base. Ooh. So, let's see. What do we get? Augmentation. So, we've got reverse iron field. Now, iron weapons, they disable equipment. They don't do any damage. So, uh, this is this is good. It means uh, iron fields have a 20 iron weapons have a 20% chance of not actually working at all, which is brilliant. I'm going to hurry up fixing that. Lazy workers. And you may also just notice they've got little skills here. So as they work in these areas, for instance, you weapons and repair here, they get better and better, and they got little bonuses. See our pilot? So those are cool. Right, now, this. This is the rebel fleet, and if we're in any of these, when there's a rebel fleet, when this is here, um, you get really tough rebel ships. Like, fucking insanely hard rebel ships, and they usually... They're not very friendly. Oh, damn, he tricked us. So you don't want to be caught on that at all. But you want to leave it generally to the last moment so you can, uh, yes, get rid of drone parts. They're useless for us right now. So uh, what should we do? We could go there and then there. Go there, that will put us, oh, we're, we're certainly cutting it close here. Already. Hmm. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged in the rebellion. However, there have been reports of a Mantis war camp only a few jumps for us. Can you help us? <sighs> we are going to have to apologise because there's no way we can do it in time. It's bad enough that there's probably going to be rebel fleet here when we arrive. No, thank God. But we have found a pirate at this jump. Okay, so. We can accept the bribe or we can try and be a hero. Now, Captain Mittens, he, Captain Mittens is a hero, he's a war hero, he, he doesn't accept any brides, and, you know, th this pirate ship is no match for us anyway, scum of the earth, or scum of the galaxy, so uh, let's sort these pirates out, oh, it looks like they've got the first trigger there, and there you go, weapons are already out, see, they stand no chance against the mighty Kestrel. Come on. Oh, we missed a bit there, but... <sighs> They're almost down. Just about three more rounds of shooting if we manage to hit everything, I think. No, maybe a bit longer. Hmm. Sometimes you get these fights where they can't damage you, but they just take forever. See this one's just gonna take forever. We're doing one damage. We've got four more rounds still to go. 
and uh, they're not getting a chance to fire because we keep destroying their weapons before they can fire. Oh, hmm, they, hmm, three missiles, eight missiles. Sorry. Now, if we destroy them, we might not get missiles. I think, I think we'll accept that. Can we shoot them? No. So, uh, oh, we need to go. So we got some missiles, which is good. We need those. Now, when you jump to a new sector, you get two options. Well, it's not all the time. So here we get two options. We can go then this path or this path. And sometimes the paths are different. So that this one they actually meet up, but usually they don't. So, uh, which one do we want to go down, guys? What I think I'll do is I think I'll let you guys decide. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. What I do is I record a sector, you guys decide, and then I'll do the next one. How about that? I think that's an interesting idea. We'll see how this goes. So, guys, I will see you later. And I hope you've enjoyed this so far. I know the first bit's probably not the most interesting, because I've been busy just explaining the general game. But hopefully, you know, things will get a bit more interesting as we go down further and further and further down the sectors. And here, this is, this is the important sector. This is where the rebel boss is and he has he's a son of a gun to kill an absolute yeah an absolute son of a gun so hopefully we get there but we'll be lucky if we get past this sector to be honest because uh things they will start to get hectic fast very hectic because we're playing on normal at least i think we are can't remember we should be there but anyway we will uh, see you later next time Bye bye